Hey everyone. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about uh, bucket injection in the Python, and I'm going to show you how to build a uh, using raw socket, of course, an ICMP uh, echo request, and we're going to send it to the router, and we're going to get an ICMP reply from the router. So that's how an ICMP echo request message looks like. Okay. So we have the first byte here, the type, which is set to 8, and the code, which is set to 0. The ICMP has a checksum, which must be calculated, the ID, and the sequence number. So let me, um, uh, I've SSH um, over to uh, Kali Linux. This is uh, our Kali Linux instance. Anyway, so let's fire up a Python interpreter and let's define a function. Or let me first import. I'm gonna import the struct module. I'm gonna import um, the socket module. And from checksum, I'm gonna import checksum. This is a function that that I've created. Um, here is the function checksum. And or here is the file. Um, I'm gonna import the struct modules, the socket, checksum, and we can actually go ahead and import or from random import trend ends in order to generate random values. Okay, for example, we can run a random value of uh, you know 16 bit. Okay. Anyway, so let's define a function called ICMP and uh, as you can see here, we've got a couple of messages here. Okay, we're gonna create it. Each fields separately. So the type is 8. The code is 0. The checksum must be initialized to 0 to calculate the checksum, as you can see here. Um, where it is. Um, when the data packet is transmitted, transmitted, the checksum is computed and inserted into the field. When the data packet is received, the checksum again computed verified against the checksum. If the two checksums do not match, okay. Okay, this is what I've been looking for. When the checksum is computed, the checksum field should be set, um, should be cleared to zero. That's what I've done here, okay. And the ID, we're gonna generate some random values using randint, um, a value of 16 bits or 2 byte, and we have the sequence number, let's say 1. And I'm gonna calculate the checksum here, okay? So this is called real um, checksum. So I am going to do, do to call the checksum um, the checksum function and here I am going to pack data into the appropriate network byte order or byte ordering which is the network byte order so we have um, the data structure is as follows B which stands for one byte B one byte H two byte two byte and two byte so B B H H H and we have the data the type, the code, the check sum, and the ID and the sequence number. That's it. Okay. Now we have to uh, generate the ICMP packet, and here we are going to do struct.pack and network byte ordering. So bbhhh, and we have the type, the code. The checksum now should be converted, should be converted into the network byte ordering using htons host to or host to network byte ordering and check or real checksum checksum. Okay, that's um, now we have the ID then the sequence. And finally, we're gonna return the ICMP packet. ICMP packet. Excellent. So we have 
a nice CMP here packet. Now we're gonna create a socket instance. Okay, so we're gonna use socket.socket, socket. socket dot, I'm gonna use the address family stands for IP version 4, and the, the socket type is raw. So soc raw. But now here I am going to uh, use the IP portal ICMP. I am going to tell the socket instance that I am going to provide you an ICMP packet. Okay. So we can now go ahead and do s dot send. I'm going to send the ICMP packet, and I am going to send it over to the gateway router. And the port number is zero here. Okay, so which would actually it would select a uh, random port number. So before sending the packet, let me go ahead and write run a Wireshark instance here, and let's check it out. So here I am going to start sniffing on ETH zero and apply a filter here ICMP and IP dot destination is equal to this given IP or IP dot DST is equal to the Kali Linux is IP address which is 101 so let's go ahead and send the packet an integer is required we've got an error um, line one okay so let's go back here the type is eight the code I think ICMP we have no problem with ICMP Okay, I am. I made a, a little mistake here. The function must be sent to. And there you go. We've sent a packet here, an ICMP request um, to the router, and simply the ICMP message is this is an echo, ping request or message, the code, the ID or the checksum is correct, and a couple of the other values that we've just generated and this is a reply okay so you can go ahead and generate any uh, a ping reply yourself and try to perform a packet crafting on your network so uh, hopefully you like this tutorial um, see you next time thank you